Hello and welcome to Snake Hub. Today, we got my Snakey Noodle here. He's my first pet and I've been having him for about two to three years, I think almost. But he's really big. And today we are going to be giving him a bath. Yay. So, oh, are, are, are you okay? Alright, anyways. So, what you're going to need to do first, I'm going to put him on my neck. Okay. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do next. Oh my god. Dude. Mm -hmm. Freaking. <laughs> he's not staying. Alright. Well, since he's not staying, I'm just going to sit in there for now. I'm not turning on the water yet. Stay there, noodle. So, what you're going to want to do first. Here are the things you're gonna need. A plug to plug your bathtub, a bathtub, a snake, a toothbrush that you do not wanna use if you have a whole bunch of them. I'm just using this one because I have like over 10 of them. And so what you're gonna wanna do next is get a, um, a type of soap that does not hurt animals. I'm using Dom because it's like literally the best freaking <laughs> soap you can use for animals. One of the best. But I, um, things that you can use is either Dawn soap or a snake, a snake, a snake soap or something that is meant for animals that's organic so it doesn't hurt them. But I'm using Dawn because Dawn is really clean. Apparently this one, most, most of them are, but look on the back it's actually pretty good so i've been using this for a long time for my snake the next thing you're gonna need though is a type of cup about a big can't be too big and there's my stinky again are you okay no. you're brainless as a noodle it's your one but anyways um you're also gonna need a thing for the snake to go on so if he gets too tired and he can't swim he can just rest on this or if you filled it up if you feel if you if your snake likes <clears throat> stay. Well, I'm gonna put this in here real quick because he's being a little dip dip shit there we go right, anyways you can get a bigger one if you if you if your snake likes to swim around a lot just get a bigger one so he can yeah, but you're gonna put it like this. So, that's all the stuff you're gonna need. What you're gonna do next, take your snack out. Mm. Okay. <laughs> next thing you're gonna wanna do, I'll hold on to your snake real quick. You're gonna wanna. Make sure the nozzle is down right here so it doesn't come out through up there. And <laughs> damn freaking snack. <laughs> Keeps them moving around. The next thing you're gonna do is slowly turn the water on because their hearing is really sensitive. And if you make it too loud then Yeah. It's gonna be very very about there. Can't be too warm. It's gotta be with warm. So since it's really cold, I'm gonna turn up a little bit and unplug this. So all the cold water can go down there once it gets warm. It has to be lukewarm, not too warm. A wood just a little bit hot. And if you, if you, like most snakes, they like one leg, one place cold, the other one hot. So we need to send the cold water in, but not too much, not too cold. Turn around a little bit. Now that that's done, it has to be on um, just a little bit. So then what you're gonna do, take your scaly friend, your noodle, and slowly put them in. There we go. Now, 
take that. Get warm. There. Now, what you're going to want to do quickly, take your cup. Put it in. Somehow put it in there. I'm going to take a bigger one. No, I shouldn't use... Alright. I've done this many times before and this has worked. And for some reason it's floating. It won't stay down. So what I'm going to do... Alright, that's more than enough water. So... No blue snack. Okay, so take, go ahead and take this out. And then what you're gonna wanna do, bring your snack with you. You don't wanna be left in here alone. Isn't that right, Noodle? All right, anyways. Now that you've got your tub, you're gonna wanna, now I'm gonna try and look for another thing. I think we're gonna be short. They didn't give us enough. Okay, so. I don't wanna find something. Something that the snake is able to climb onto. Like, basically, look at here. Something like this. Perfect. So I can climb onto that. And if that doesn't work, hmm. I'll try and find something else, but you can also, you don't have to use one of these, but then your water would have to be really low. So. <laughs> Now, set it down in there. Well, it can also float too. As you can see, you can sit on it. And then next, what you're gonna want to do? I hate getting my phone a little bit wet. Take your Toothbrush, set them down. Go let your snack play around a little bit. Come swim. So then, what you want to do? Take your Dawn soap, and you're gonna want to pour a little bit of it on to toothbrush, and then. Bubbles. <laughs> All right, got a little bit on there. That's fine. I'll be very careful though, cause you don't want this to get in your snaky size. Go ahead and get it a little bit wet. Now, get the rest up. Now, what you're gonna wanna do? You're gonna wanna take your snake. And just slightly scrub the scales with the toothbrush, but down, not up, because then you can maybe you can maybe flake his scales off. So you're gonna lightly do it on his whole body. Doesn't hurt him. Just tickles a little bit for him. He's fine. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> scared snakey. Snakey scaredy. Alright, now that it's the, all the dawn's off, you're gonna scoop the rest of it up. Like that. And then you're gonna scrape. Oh, I love you too. But. You're gonna also want to scrub his head, so what you're gonna do, be very careful. Also pick him up and do this, because since I have my phone in my hand, it's kind of hard, but you gotta scrub his little head just a little bit to come here. There we go. Oh, my good sneaky. Scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. Here we go.
But let's grab his whole body. So. <laughs> Let me just get his whole body scrubbed. Since this is my first video, I don't really know how to edit. So whoever's watching this, um, go ahead and leave a comment of how to edit for me. So I can make better look videos, that'd be nice. Alright, now that that's done, what you're gonna wanna do next, take this out. Now, this is for a bat ball python, since when, this is for your small snake. Now, since I don't have big tubs and things, so they can all, you know, and soak. What I'm going to do is, you're going to take your cup, take a little bit of water, and pour it on the milk. I'm going to repeat this five times. One, two, has to be at least that full. Like about two about there. That that much space left. So three I think four and five. Alright. I didn't get a whole bunch of them on. Close your damn soap. Okay, now, hands are wet. <laughs> you're gonna wanna, this is, you're gonna wanna take this out, and then, go ahead and set it up here. You're gonna scrap your snack. You're fun in your bath. Yeah. Look at how happy he is. Mm-hmm. I'm a happy snakey. I'm a very happy snakey. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> okay. Then after that, you're going to take your snack. Set him on counter. Stay. Actually, you know what? Set him in the sink. Don't mind that hole out. He can't get through that. It's way too small. Grab a towel. Set it down. Grab your snack. Set them on the towel. Wrap the noodle up in the towel. I would rather use a smaller towel than my grandma wants me to use this one. So... <laughs> Hello, me. So, what you're gonna do? Take your snack. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You don't want to go near there. Okay. Now, your snack is mostly dried off. I'm gonna dry them off pretty good. Wow, look at that. The skunk that came off of him. <laughs> Snack off are very good. I haven't fed my snack in a while because there's one I'm giving him baths because he's stinky and he's smelly and he's shitty. Yeah, he's shitty. So, go to pat, 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 pat. Lightly pat. Little sneaky pat. He's so cute. You want him to slither all the way out. Take him out. Lately, there you go. Now you got yourself a happy snakey. And now I'm gonna take him back to his cage. 